What's up everybody, it's Lurker here and I just released a new single called The Robot. So I figured I'd do a little explanation video on how I pieced everything together. So um, it's a pretty simple track overall. Um, I use some Vengeance House samples for the drums. Uh, I also use some Vengeance House samples for the horns. Um, I use a microcorg for the bass synth and Ableton Live Keys uh, acoustic piano as like a software piano. Um, so yeah, I uh, started working on this song like in 2013, but I stalled releasing it for different reasons, um, mostly like different mixing issues. Uh, I wanted to re-record the drums that weren't separated when I first recorded them. So always make sure to record your drums separately uh, to begin with when you make a new track. Um, or just don't be lazy uh, and uh, do what you gotta do to finish the track. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna switch over to the screen recording of Ableton uh, to get started on explaining the drum sounds. So I'll just start by uh, explaining like the rhythm section before I get into anything else. Um, I opened the track with a big boom. Uh, I mentioned I use Vengeance House samples. Uh, I used to use those a lot, and since this is a pretty old track, uh, I was using those a lot at the time. Now I've switched to like using drum machines, like the TR-8. Um, so yeah, so you got the kick, um, and the snare coming in already, hot. Um, you got two kicks, actually. Also this. So it's sort of like on the offbeat. You bring it back. Then I've also got some uh, hi hats in the background already. It's sort of got this offbeat vibe to it, um, which I like. Um, there's also a ride that adds to that effect. And a shaker. Also a rim shot here. And a snap. And another clap, which is really quiet. louder clap here's the kick is changing up a little bit so that's the drum section of the robot and now I'll show you the bass synth part, which I recorded with the microcorg. So here we've arrived to the synth section, the bass synth section featuring the microcorg. Um, this part I wrote just sort of messing around with the patches already in the microcorg. So if you have a microcorg, um, one of them is A57 um, in that hip hop and vintage uh, section. And the other synth is A58. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was just going for, like, something with a lot of notes in it. Um, and I think I achieved that. So I'll bring it down an octave to play it for you up here. But basically, it's G. Um, then D sharp. Sorry, uh, not D sharp. Uh, e flat and then D um <clears throat> yeah Uh, 
Um, that's the first base part. And then you switch patches and go to the second base part. So C, 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 D, D, E flat, E flat. Um, you can see I can write all those down, all those notes down. Um, and if you're a Patreon member, you can get all the MIDI information um, If yeah, uh, by subscribing. Um, but yeah, here it is. And after that part, you go back to the first part. Sorry, bring it down. Um, and that's it. That's the bass part. Um, again, the MIDI information is available uh, to everyone who subscribes to my Patreon. That's an entirely different topic, but uh, you can also get the notes by just watching this video over and over again. It's pretty simple. Um, just, you know, comment below if you have any questions. So, yeah. Now I'll take you back into Ableton. Uh, and show you the piano part, which I wrote on Combinator originally um, in Reason a while ago. Um, so yeah, so here we go. So here we go. All right, now we've arrived to the piano part. It's basically an intro here. This little part here, followed by these chords here, followed again by the same part that preceded the chords. Um, the intro is pretty basic. It's just um, an A flat repeated, and then um, the transition is an F, then a G right there. And then it's just uh, a vamping G note. Yeah, vamping G note, and then um, up top, alternating notes from G to D to A flat to D to A flat to E flat. Um, sort of just going randomly to, to keep people guessing. Um, it's I don't know if it's entirely musically correct, but I thought it sounded interesting, so I just kept it that way. All right, now we're at the chords here. Um, I'll bring you into the MIDI here. It's these chords right here. And they're all pretty simple. They're just octaves with a note in the middle. And I'll let it come around so you can hear. It's this chord. It's a C with a G in the middle. A G with a D in the middle. A flat with an E flat. And an F with a C. Comes back around. C. G. A flat. F. And then it goes back to this kind of wonky spot right here with that vamping note and uh, the alternating top notes. Going from G to D, A flat to D, A flat to E flat, and so on. And that's basically it for the piano part. Um, you can see that the uh, that there are two piano midis right here and here, and that's because um, I've, I've 
soloed this, I've added it back in so that you could hear it. Um, it's just like a little bit of a an added oomph, um, if you will, uh, for the piano, so that you know it, it sounds a little bit fuller. Um, so yeah, that's the piano. I'll show you really quick uh, how to do the actual chords on the piano, so it's easier, and uh, you can see that as well. And then uh, you will know how to play the piano part for the robot. All right, here's the simple piano part for the robot. And that's basically it. All right, so there you have it. That's how I produced the robot using just a few Vengeance House samples, the microcorg, and a software piano from Reason. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, now I've switched to doing a lot more synthesizer-based music, as you can see. Like I didn't really use that much of this gear in the robot. Um, but I will do, be doing more videos of you know how I made other songs using this gear. So if you have any requests for songs that you want to know how I made, uh, just leave a comment. Or if you have any questions at all, um, just leave a comment and subscribe to my page to get more videos like this explaining my songs, um, explaining how to use gear, and other fun stuff like that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.